but what you see on the graph is only average. Average is deceptive, so don't go by average all the time. Okay. Now, uh, there is another question, what is the best response time? Again, the best is an adjective. It depends upon the application. You cannot, but there is something called benchmarks. I'll show it to you towards the end. Benchmarks, industry benchmarks. Now, I am not satisfied with 50 users. What I am going to do, in no place, all users come at the same time. This means 50 users are all waiting on the desk. On your marks, get set, go. This thing, this kind of a situation doesn't happen. What happens is this scenario. Ramp up. Users slowly enter the system. If you look at IRCTC or any web application, not million users come at the same time. For example, initially I am starting with 10 users. Then I am going to say increment 10 users every, uh, for example, I am going to say every 10 seconds. Okay? That is every 5 seconds every 5 second right keep on increasing users now i'm going to run this for 5 minutes that means look at this the scenario is running for 5 minutes right and i'm giving maximum number of users as say um, um, in 1 minute it can go up to 60 users right now i'm going to give maximum number of users is 200 200 users reached after 1 minute and 35 seconds because every 10 seconds a new way 10 vehicles are joining the road imagine that you are in Bangalore or Chennai and the outer ring road in Bangalore or Annasala in Chennai every minute when the signal opens 100 vehicles join the trunk road same way here also every 5 seconds 10 new users are getting into the system start bombarding the server now instead of 5 minutes, let me, let me give 3 minutes, but 200 users will be reached within 1 minute and 35 seconds. I am running for 3 minutes. Let us watch. Uh, you need to watch certain things. Initially we ran for only 10 users, right? Then I increased it to 50 just one time. Now I am changing the scenario. 10 users starting, every 5 seconds they are incrementing. Now I am running 200 users. Let us see whether this system works. Okay. Now I am running it. The run starts now. This is exactly what will happen in load testing. You will never run all the users in a single shot. Even if you do it in a single project, right? You will do it in a step by step fashion. Look here. If you look here, uh, typically the users are increasing. Every 5 seconds, 10 users are increasing. Right? And uh, previously the response time used to be less than 1 second. Now you could see still less than 1 second, but still it's not below 0.2 or something. It's increasing. And number of users reached 80. It's going to reach 90. And you could see the number of hits getting increased. And of course, if you if you see very very closely, this thing, the response time and the hits keep on increasing. Watch this. The hits keep on increasing. That is the key that we need to note as the users increase right when the users are increasing hits will also increase and you could see the response time was not very 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 low compared to the previous ones now let it reach 250 200 users and let it finish the run let us see what is the min max and average time obviously it will be more than what you have seen before and one more thing you need to notice. Does the tool talk anything about errors? 
is it giving anything in red because this graph is red means errors there is no error so far that means the system that the jpet store server that we have been hitting it is not throwing any errors if it starts throwing errors that needs to be watched by the people right the error means it may be a 400 error or a 500 error or 403 error any http error if your server doesn't work well obviously you will get some error right so far it has not thrown any errors but you could see the hits increasing when the number of users stabilized hits also stabilized you watch this mouse almost like I can draw a graph like this and then like this and the response time was initially high but after that it was stabilized right now this run once it finishes it is going to finish now once it finishes we will show you what is the min max and average previously we talked about that welcome.xml right right headlines.xml look at this previously the response time were almost 9 13 seconds now it is showing 19.6 seconds right it has increased it has increased to 19.6 seconds previously all these line items were less than zero less than one now it's somewhere the index dot has HTML going beyond one second that means from 500 users from 50 users to 200 and 200 users there is a slight change in the response time I want to make it further clear if I run 500 users what will happen this is what I want to show now right so if you watch closely this is what exactly will happen in real time load testing you will run initially for one thing then you increase the users then you increase the users you need to go to the point till what customer wants now I'm going to say start with 20 users increment 20 users and I'm going to say 500 users right same three minutes duration the, the script will run for three minutes now instead of increasing 10 10 users this is like a Friday evening traffic in Bangalore right or Chennai or any city for that sake or San Francisco or Los Angeles 20 vehicles getting onto the road every 5 seconds now I'm getting 500 vehicles whether 500 vehicles can travel through this trunk road whether 500 virtual users can accommodate can be accommodated in this one right let me run it you'll find out there is a question can I use a neo load for cloud applications yes very much anything on the net or on the internet on the HTTP protocol you can use this right there are some questions how will you find the bottleneck we will go to some analysis part towards the end what I would like people to do is please be patient because you need to see a variety you cannot be a doctorate right on day one you need to go through a variety of cases right so you need to observe a few runs then you can understand then we will be showing some of the resource monitors also right and your load is not open source too now look at it now 175 users are getting in right and the response time number of hits also increasing Again, this particular system that we have installed, this JPET store, is having about 1 GB RAM and it's a normal processor with, I think, uh, 3 gigahertz. So, I'm not sure how many users it can accommodate, but definitely 500 users, if it accommodates, it's a great system. But let us see, I'm, I'm expecting some errors over here. Uh, now, 300 users, it is running fine. That means, if you install it in a server, 300 concurrent users do the same thing they will not face errors and they will get the average response time on what you see over here maybe maximum 2.2 seconds or max 5 seconds so it, you are well within the limits how will I say you are well within the limits I will show the benchmark a little bit later um, I would like to ask you one honest question 
uh, see this number of hits is increasing, the response time is also slowly increasing. Do you watch that? When hits are increasing, the response time is also increasing. Do you observe that? Please raise your hands. Okay, I don't see hands rising. Maybe it's taking time. Um, the hits are increasing. Do you see the response time also increasing? Can you please raise the hands if you are able to observe that? Please raise the hands. Good. Good. Previously, did you notice the same behavior? It was not there. Previously, it was almost pretty stable. Now, if you look at this, yeah, it is able to accommodate 500 users. And response time, it was not always just uh, less, than, less than 0.2 or 0.5. It is more than that, right? It is more than that, right? And uh, you could see the entire run is coming up. Now the run is going to finish. Three minutes are over. Now let us see the final statistics once it has finished. Okay. Now watch this. Suddenly, somewhere towards the end, response time for some of the users increased like hell. Did you want? Did you notice this? When users are running, it was okay, but towards the end, when users are coming down, response time started throwing almost like 60 seconds, 75 seconds, but still no errors. The system is responding, but there is no error. Now I think the users are finished. It's, it has finished the run, right? Now let it finish. Let it completely come to normal. Then I will, we will show the results to you. This is exactly what I want you to observe. Look at this. In 50 users, in 100 users, in 200 users, you didn't see a lot of problems. But when you run 500 users, initially it was working fine. Towards the end, something bad happened to the system. We don't know what. We will, we will analyze that a little bit later it is still going on right right and the response times were going up up and up it never had any issue now that means some users are not coming down uh, you may you, you may really stop the run by clicking like you are abruptly stopping this run that's also fine so if you want to though we wanted the script to stop at 3 minutes Maybe one or two users are still running. That is why he is still going up. Two virtual users are still hanging. Look at this. Almost like 498 users have come out. Two virtual users are still waiting for the server to respond. That's the problem. Why is that so? That's, that is called his low test. It is never predictable. Now I am manually stopping this. I am manually stopping this run. I would like to go to the actual pet store itself. Let us see whether how fast it is responding now. Okay. Now I'm coming back. Jepper demo store, right? Now it is working fine because there is no more users. Right? There are no users in the system, that's why it is working fine. But still we don't see a crash of the system or we don't see any errors. I'm not going to let it go. Okay? So what I'm going to do is <coughs> okay a few questions before that uh, is there a trial version available yes neolo trial version is available you can go to neotis visit neotis.com I'm just sending to all the people uh, I think it's uh, five users you can 10 or 5 users are available and you can use it for almost I'm not sure about the duration and uh, also one other thing that a uh, few people have asked uh, scripting this tool can use JavaScript as part of its scripting 
at the same time it has a beautiful UI to do the scripting part so you don't have to really code hand code anything but you can still use JavaScript for scripting in NeoLoad okay <coughs> so the script finally has stopped so I have manually stopped this okay now as we promised in the initial mail look at this maximum response time it has gone all the way up to 101 seconds towards the end of the scenario right but one person asked why it is not showing initially the slowness towards the end it slowed that is exactly why load testing is unpredictable it is different totally different from functional test in functional test for a input you know the output whereas in load test for various reasons things can go wrong so you cannot predict it should work this way right 